Okay, now what I wanted to show you today was a timber hitch. Um, usually the timber hitch you can use having like a sling like this. This is a makeshift sling. And what I have here is a miniature porter wrap. So what normally you would do with a porter wrap is a lot of times they have a wide um, eye. You would girth hitch the bottom. So you do that by capturing the porter wrap. So that would be the way you attach your porter wrap. And then what you do is you put your rope around the tree to start off your um, timber hitch. So what I like to do is I like to go underneath. And then what you'll do on your timber hitch, you'll start tucking it inward. And you're gonna do five wraps. So that's one. And here's the second, two. Three. Four. And then this is the fifth. All right, now normally what you would, you would want is all of these to be spaced evenly and not bunched up. Um, it works if they're spaced, so when you put weight on your um, porter wrap, it wouldn't let it run. So the, the excess you could just put off to the side or tuck in the back. But that's the timber hitch. Okay Noah, so the next knot that I wanted to show you was a cow hitch. Um, a cow hitch is basically a girth hitch tied at the end of the line. So a girth hitch, just say you had a long line. A girth hitch is a knot that you can make two loops, right? And then you put your um, object in and then you, you choke it. So that's that's a girth hitch. Now that's that's usually made in the middle of your rope, you know, and you can connect to like a, a, a ball on a truck to maybe do a pull or, or just something. But a cow hitch is actually the same type of a knot, but you're going to use the end of the line. And um, this miniature pulley you know, we made up here is um, normally how you would you know, use your cow hitch. So what you'd want to do is you go to the limb that you're going to, you know, you would put your pulley and this is going to be the limb that you're going to use to rig with. What you would do is go around the, tr the, the trunk or branch, you capture it, and then you go around all the way back around and you go right through the bite that you created. So in the way that the girth hitch has a bite, so do the cow hitch, but you're using the end of the line. So you have to tie it in that way. And normally there's not something on top where you can, you know, go over, so you gotta tie it around the, the branch or trunk. So that's the cow hitch and then you'll follow it through with a half hitch. So push this through and the half hitch will stop this knot from sliding. So that's a complete knot there. A cow hitch on a branch and then this is your pulley setup um, to work with rigging. Alrighty, ready to give it a try? Yeah. Cool. Okay, whenever you're ready. Let me see you there bud. Alright. I know it sounds funny, but it's good to count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, especially at you as you're learning. Yeah. And so like this, this is actually, you know, really slick. It's not like a regular bark tree. This would grip a lot more. So you, you won't really be able to pull very hard and see how it actually is going to work. There you go. Five. There you go. And so you'll snug it up, pushing down on the eye. Yeah, that's the eye there, and there you go. And yeah, they're evenly spaced, it looks good. So that right there is the timber hitch. Yes. Mm -hmm. and catch it, right? Yeah, and bring your pulley up higher. Yeah, they're gonna catch it. Now there you go. So you're gonna go capture it. Now remember, you gotta come back to me, you're gonna create a bite. 
Yeah, and that's going to hold your pulley up. So let go of your pulley. Now your rope's going to hold it up. See that? Yeah. Okay, now you're going to go around and right back through that bite. You got to situate the back. You don't want it to be crossed over. See the back? Uh-uh. Yeah. Bring it up. See that? No, no. See, look at the back. We'll look at it. It's, it's good. It flopped over. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it flopped over. There you go. That's right. Well, you wanted to be on top. You have to. No, well, the way you tied it, it needed to be on top. But it flopped over. Okay. Is it pulling you to be closer to the tree? It should be. It should be. It should be really close. So. All right. There you go. And don't hold the pulley. Just use your rope to hold it up. So just use your rope. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now go grab it. Tuck it in. There you go. There you go. Now give yourself some half hitches. Behind it. Yeah. And go up back up to itself and choke it. Remember the half hitch you pull and go up. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And you do a double if you want. Just two? Yeah. There you go. Now that's the cow hitch I'll with a couple of halves. I'll do it again. Okay. Okay. And you can, if you like the other direction better, you can do that too if you want. Let's see. Pull it back up toward the tree, to the to the cow hitch. That's going to go up toward the cow hitch. This? This little piece. See this? this? Yeah, tuck it up. There you go. And push it. Oh, okay. That's what you want. And then, yeah, same direction if you do too. Same thing. Pull it up, go up. All right. Give it a little tiny tug. Solid. There you go. Good job, Mel. So uh, first today we looked at the timber hitch which you can use um, on a sling to attach something like a porter wrap. This is the porter wrap. And then we also worked on a cow hitch, um, something you could use say um, when you use a pulley. Um, so on a, a system like this you would use a line and you know your cow hitch is your rigging knot. Your timber hitch is the, the bottom, the, the end for the, the porter wrap. So if you were, um, say, going to you rig something down, you would have, you know, your, your, your rope would be tied up to something that, say, you were going to drop. That's not the right knot, but you were going to, say, drop a branch. And you would take your line, put it through the porter wrap, and secure your porter wrap with some wraps. And that's kind of how it would work. The, the timber hitch would be the bottom the, to the porter wrap what would hold the weight of the branch that you're going to remove. It. And the cow hitch would be the rigging knot to hold up your pulley. So anyhow, that's kind of the idea of today, the timber hitch and the cow, uh, and the cow hitch. Um, on the next video, we're going to work on termination knots. Um, so if you have a split tail system, a termination knot is when you would... Um, use con to connect the end of the line to your saddle by a carabiner or a clip. Alright, next time.